Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the to define and explain the different types of the modulus. There's the young modulus, there's the shear modulus and the bulk modulus. So let's to define and explain one by one with the diagram. The first one is the young modulus. The young modulus is being represented by capital Y and it is defined as the ratio of the tensile stress over the tensile strain the tensile stress over the tensile strain so this is known as the young modulus where it means that when the tensile stresses are acting on the object for example consider this is any object and let's suppose some load at this object in the tensile position in the outward direction we call it tensile so this load will stretch the object in the tensile direction or in the outward direction so tensile stress how much load is applied dividing it by the area so we get the tensile stress can be defined as the load divided by area and the tensile strain can be defined as tensile strain how much the change occurring in this length this is for example consider this is the length of the object so tensile strain can be defined as the change in length divided by the original length. So the ratio of the tensile stress or the tensile strain, this ratio can be defined as the tensile stress dividing it by the ratio of tensile strain. This ratio we call as the Young modulus. And it and it is in the unit of the tensile stress because tensile strain has no unit. So it's some also sometimes called as the elastic modulus elastic modulus this term is mostly used in engineering elastic modulus so young modulus sometimes also called as elastic modulus and it is the ratio of the tensile stress over the tensile strain so we call it the young modulus the second one is the shear modulus the shear modulus is being represented by capital G and sometimes it's also called as the uh, modulus of rigidity modulus of rigidity it can be defined as the ratio of the shear stress, the ratio of the shear stress over the shear strain. This ratio is termed as the mod modulus of rigidity or the shear modulus. So it means if I consider this as an object, consider this as an object. So when the shear stress, it means the shear load is acting on this object to shear this object. It means to slide this object. So this this uh, this stress which, which makes it the object to shear or to slide uh, so we call it the shear stress and the change coming in this object for example it slides away like in this way so this shear strain and the shear stress we call the ratio of this shear stress over the shear strain we call it the shear modulus and it is the same unit it is the, uh, at which the shear stress has so now coming to the third, uh, third type of the modulus, it is the bulk modulus. The bulk modulus is uh, usually represented by the capital K and it can be defined as the ratio of the volumetric stress, volumetric stress to the volumetric strain, to the volumetric strain. For example, consider this is an object, this is an object and the load x and the load x on this object from all the direction the load x on this object from all the direction so it will be compressed and from all the direction and it will be look like this it will be look like this so the volumetric stress the load from all the direction coming in to exp um, uh, to express this object uh, into a small uh, object so we call is the this ratio of volumetric stress over the volumetric strain which change occurring the volumetric of this object so this ratio we define as the bulk modulus so these were all the three types of the modulus uh, sometimes used to define uh, the terms these three so uh, these were the lectures about these three types of the modulus and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video